Hello and thank you for choosing Kinetic Hosting. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to pre-generate your Minecraft server's chunks using Chunky. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this, shall we? First things first, we will need to download Chunky and add it to our server. So let's go ahead and do that. This link will be in the description below to download Chunky for your server. And download the version of Chunky and for the mod loader of your choice. In my tutorial today, I will be using 1.21 Forge. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, then click download. Now head back to your server, go to the file manager, and go to the mods folder. Next, put Chunky in that mods folder by just dragging and dropping it, and it will upload. Alright, now head to the overview page, and start your server. And I will see you in Minecraft. Alright, now that I'm on my Minecraft server, let's say I want this block right here to be my center block of spawn or whatever it may be so let's run slash chunky center and this will be the coordinates of where i'm currently standing all right now let's go ahead and set a radius we will have our knowledge base linked in the description below just so you can get a rough estimate of how everything will work so let's do slash chunky radius and let's do 5000 if we just do 5000 it will just be a radius of 5000 blocks so what we can do is we can do 5,000 space 5,000 and it will now be 5,000 in each single direction. So it'll be 5,000 by 5,000. All right. You can also do it for the nether by doing chunky world, the underscore nether or the end if you want to do those dimensions as well. So let's go ahead and start this pregen chunky start. Sometimes you will see this top bar up here with the progress of chunky, but let's go ahead and head back to the kinetic panel and go to the console page. All right, now that we're on the console page, you can see that it's running the task for the overworld and how many chunks it has pre-generated already. This does go pretty quick. However, I would like to make a few notes here. Make sure to watch your server's memory and as well, make sure to watch your server's disk space as if you do too many chunks, you will definitely run out of disk space and your server might run out of memory as well while during this process. So what we can do is go to the file manager, go to the config folder, go to the chunky folder and open the config.json and you will see right here, continue on restart. This is set to false. So what this does is if you set this to true, every time your server reboots, for an example, your chunky will automatically restart. So you don't have to keep doing it every time your server crashes or whatever the case may be. So let's go ahead and set this false to true. So that is the gist on how to pre-generate chunks on your Minecraft server. If this video does help you out, make sure to smack that like button and subscribe for future tutorials. Thank you so much for choosing Canada Coasting and watching this video, and we will see you around.